morning. Cracking day. Sun's out. B day. Day off. Equals mooching about in the garden, finding another job to do. And the job that I need to do before the end of May is the red currants. Put three red currants in here, two on this side, and one on that side for a little break about seven, eight years ago. And like I say, if you ever go to your gardening, I always put stuff in for the two year project. Give it two years to see if it takes. And boy, do these take, and uh, like I say, things always give back to you. Um, and I'll show you with a bit of a close up. I think I've got about 10,000 berries on here already. So um, look forward to having some of them on my porridge in the morning. But today, something to do, well, before the end of May, if you grow red currants, is just to clear out the bottom six inches of your plant here. They are susceptible to uh, butterflies coming to lay their eggs, and uh, if you do that, then you're going to get. Um, a horde of caterpillars coming up from the bottom, <coughs> chewing your plants. Um, I've got caught out once with that on this middle fan here, um, and obviously then it's a lot of spraying to get rid of them. Um, although your caterpillar does feed the birds, doesn't it? But you don't want as many as I saw that day. So yeah, just to trim back everything from about there, lets the air blow through, and. Uh, for some reason the butterflies uh, just ignore it after that. Um, other thing about red currants, they're always one of the first things to throw green shoots out in the spring. So when we look out from our kitchen, I think green leaves coming on, the red currant spring must be coming as well. And three different varieties here, yeah. and this middle one's always a couple of weeks ahead of the others. So, um, come down here and we'll do a bit of trimming out yeah come on now then all we're talking about see if we get these stuck so you can't get them open there you go any new shoots that are coming out from the bottom get rid get rid There you go. go on, I'll go up. I'll go up to there. You can see already a bit of light getting through. These are quite long. Do you know what I mean? I've left it a little bit. I usually do this right at the start of May before they start growing. Not red currant, that's got some thorns on it. There you go. Looking better, looking better. Another big one. Where you come? That's what we suffer with here. If you ever have a squirrel coming around and we've got a big horse chestnut tree that overhangs our garden, we must pick up about 50 or 60 of these buried around the garden in pots and in the earth all over the place. And that's the third one I found today, just mooching about. So, um, that should do it for this one. Yeah. You know, you can see there, a bit of light, about six inches, plenty of air going through, compare it to the other one, if I just turn it around, compare it to that one, um, and that's enough to keep the, the butterflies away, and uh, from they go. So, two more to do, quick and easy job, and then we'll see how we go. Give you a little closer, just have a look at all these berries here. There must be 
10,000, you know what I mean? Um, good for your breakfast. We have given some away um, for a neighbour to make some uh, record wine, which was okay, really, it was nice. And last year we didn't pick them, we just left them all for the birds, and the blackbirds do love them, so yeah. So, two more to do, and that's me done for today. Well, this morning. I'm sure Alice has got another trod project on it. So. Okay, job done. And if you have a look, that's all we're looking at. Nice bit of clay, flow through for the air, get all those bottom leaves off, and uh, happy days. Job done. One thing doing a job like that, it's not the job that it's hard, it's getting down there and getting back up again. And I found another four conkers, so get up to about 65 for the year. Reasonable bucket full, so yeah, time for a cup of tea. See you later.